Hi, I'm Jen Cam, and this is Jen Cam Plays Board Games. Today, we're going to be going on a new type of adventure. Today, we're going camping. Okay, so if you've never played Flux before, or a Flux game, Flux is a card game that is constantly changing throughout your whole playthrough. So you start with basic rules, which I will show you soon, don't worry, um, that you start with, and then as you go, the rules are constantly changing. It could be your hand limit, it could be how many cards you play, how many cards you can draw. All of these rules change throughout the whole game. Not only that, the win conditions also change the whole time, like all the time. So in other words, the game is in a constant state of flux. So today, obviously, we will be playing uh, the solo rules and the solo game can be played with any deck. And if you want to try it, you can go to their website, which I will have in the description below, and it will tell you which cards you need to remove um, so for camping, it's going to be these ones. I will show you when we uh, head to the table, but you remove those cards and then there's a couple other things that you change around and then the game is totally soloable. Before we get started though, I just want you to know that Looney Labs did send me uh, this copy of Flux, but you can get Camping Flux, there's Mighty Monty Python Flux, there's a um, mythology, like Greek or Roman gods flux. There's, there's, there's so many, there are so many different ones and you can find them all on their webpage, which again will be in the description below. But with that, let's get started. Okay. So before you get started with solo flux or, or at least camping flux, you are going to remove certain cards from the deck. And those are, what should I pack? Mix it all up trade hands, steal something, four directions, fishing trip, fireside potluck, and the new rule trading post. So all of those would only apply if you are playing against others. So you definitely want to remove those. The next thing you are going to do is you are going to remove all of these yellow rule cards from the deck and you're gonna shuffle them and then put them into their own deck. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to start by putting our basic rules right here. And then we are going to take all of our rule cards. They are all the ones with the yellow. They will get a nice good shuffle and we will set those right here. And then all the rest of the cards will get shuffled as well. And we will place them right here. And then basically you just follow what um, the cards tell you to do. And so we are going to start by taking one, two, three cards and obviously choose somebody to go first. That is going to be us. <laughs> so we are starting with a um, action card, which is draw three, play two of them. Um, so when we use that, I'll explain that. We have a keeper. Keepers are how, how you win the game. So once we have a goal, which speaking of is right here. So if we had a goal, if this one was played, so if we were played that one is campfire song. So if we had the uh, campfire and the guitar in our keeper, so our played cards, we would be able to claim that goal. So this is gonna be one of those things that is different in the solo. So in the multiplayer game, the first person to claim a goal card wins as long as they don't have any creeper cards. Luckily right now we don't have any, but I guarantee you we will. So what's different in the solo is that you actually keep playing until one of the decks runs out. So when you need to draw a card and there aren't any more, that is going to be the end of the game. And then you count how many goals you've collected throughout the game. And as long as you have one, you win the game. Um, but there'll be some other things to see, you know, how well you did. Okay, so as the rule state, we are going to draw a card and play a card. And the card that we drew is Trail Mix. But I think since this is early in the game, we are gonna do the action card, draw three, play two. So what we do is we set our uh, current hand aside. We're going to play that. I'm gonna draw three cards. So one, two, and three. 
and we're going to play two of them immediately and discard the third. So we have a keeper, which is a pocket knife. We have the tent. Now the tent is really powerful. Uh, the tent will allow us to win, aka continue to collect our uh, goals. Even if we have rain or mosquitoes, the rain and the mosquitoes are what are the creepers here in Flux and they prevent you from winning. There are ways to get rid of them, but we cannot collect any goals if we have any out. This would help us. So maybe we take that and we also have the goal sleeping under the stars, sleeping bag plus neither tent nor camper in play anywhere. Well, hmm. I think we are going to discard that goal. Yes, that is kind of points for the end of the solo game, but I want to be able to collect other things and that is going to, if we have the camper or the tent out, we wouldn't be able to get it. And we can only actually have one goal at a time. So at least for right now, that rule can change, that rule can change. So since we played one, that is the end of our turn. And now we are going to draw a new rules card. So our first rules card is going to be new rule. <laughs> it's like the frowny face equals smiley face. I love camping. It takes instant effect. Creepers do not pre prevent you from winning. Okay, so that is good. So we are going to, oh, let's just place it right here and we will keep that one handy. Okay, so now it is back to us. So we're going to continue to draw one, play one until that changes. And we got the new goal, night lights, campfire plus, flat, plus flashlight. So we don't have either of those. So I think what we're going to do is let's play our sleeping bag. And we can try to maybe tr keep getting uh, some keepers out because maybe we'll get a goal that needs the tent and the sleeping bag. Probably not the pocket knife and sleeping bag. I don't know what scenario happens. It's probably not a good camping experience if you need your pocket knife while in your sleeping bag. But that is the end of our turn. So we're going to get a new rule. Hand limit of three. Oh no. Replaces hand limit, which currently we have none. You can only have three cards in your hand. Discard extras immediately. During your turn, this rule does not apply to you. Discard at the end of your turn. Well, luckily right now we only have three. Ooh, so that is gonna stay into play unless we have a way to remove it. So it is back to us. We are going to draw one card and there are the mosquitoes. So when you draw a creeper, you automatically play it. It'll go into your play area. And as it says, place immediately and we redraw. You cannot win if you have this card unless the goal says otherwise. So right now we do have that goal, but we also have the tent, which protects us. So we're gonna draw another card. And oh my gosh, uh, don't let bugs in, or don't let any bugs get in. Mosquitoes plus either tent or camper is a goal. <gasps> oh my gosh, so we have not played one. You know what, we are going to play this goal and we have mosquitoes and we have the tent. So these are gonna go into the discard pile and this goal we're gonna place right here because that is our first one. <laughs> you know what, we're gonna slide it down a little bit more, maybe over here so we can make sure we can put our cards there. So we have one goal completed, not bad. And okay, so let's see what our next rule is. It is draw three, play one. Oh no. So with our hand limit, that's gonna be really rough because now we are gonna go through the deck that much faster without being able to play as many things. So we are going to draw three. So we have chocolate, uh, sharp stick, and loaded backpack, or loaded pack for a goal, which is back plus, backpack plus any two of tent, rain gear, sleeping bag, canteen, bug spray, pocket knife, flashlight, and matches. Well, we don't have the backpack. And you know what? So I already know what the backpack does. So yeah, I, I don't think I wanna take the goal that makes me get rid of the backpack or any goal that gets rid of the backpack. Once we find it, you will see. So we have can only play one and then we're gonna have to get rid of like almost everything else. Oh my gosh. So I know I'm gonna get rid of that. So. We're, we're not gonna do that. Let's keep, play, let's play our 
sharp knife, or I'm sorry, our sharp stick. Let's looking at the knife. And let's keep these three. We'll get rid of the campfire songs and the loaded pack. Uh, so those will go into the discard because we do have to follow the rule of the hand limit. Oi. Okay, so let's move on to the next rule, which is scout bonus takes instant effect. If you are or ever were a scout, draw one extra card during your turn. Draw two extra cards if you are an Eagle Scout or a Gold Award recipient. Well, so I was totally a Girl Scout and yeah, we're going to draw one, which, oh man, we're going to be drawing four cards now though. So this really isn't that good for us because we're going to be drawing four cards. And we can only play one. This is, this is, it seems like it could be a good thing, but it's just going to make us go through our deck even faster without being able to collect as many goals. Okay, so it is back to us. So we're gonna draw our four cards. We have hot dogs, uh, campfire circle, is a goal, the guitar, oh man, and s'mores. Oh gosh, okay. So for the s'mores, we do actually have the chocolate. Um, so maybe, Ooh, but I feel like the hot dogs are good for the stick as well. Uh, we would need to have graham crackers and marshmallows, which with right now with our hand limit, I'm really worried about. So I don't think we'll keep that. So let's place that for right here, or for right now. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of goals with campfire. Hopefully we don't get rid of them all before we get there. So what is going to be our third? Let's keep the trail mix because this one is already used there. So we will discard all of those. Oh my gosh. This is, oh, this is rough. Okay. Let's see what the next rule is. Maybe, oh, it, well, it would probably make it worse. <laughs> It'll probably just make it worse. New rule, double agenda. Okay. This is awesome. A second goal can now be played. After this, whoever plays a goal must choose which of the current goals to discard. You win if you satisfy either goal. Okay, so we don't have any goals out because we haven't played any, but now we'll be able to have two out. And I don't know, maybe that'll help us. Maybe it won't, but either way, we are going to draw our next four. So we have one, uh, discard and draw. Uh, discard your entire hand and draw as many cards as you discarded. Do not count this card when determining how many cards to draw. Okay, so I'm assuming that's when you play it, you're not counting as the discard. Okay, so one, two. Oh my gosh, oh, oh, okay. Well, we don't have the campfire anyway. Uh, <laughs> three and four. Oh, I really want that camper. I want that camper. Oh, and this is one of the ones that we were discarding before. Okay, so. I am gonna move this over here. Move these down a bit um, because we're gonna get more keepers. So I am definitely playing the camper because this will protect us from the rain. We have other ways to protect from the rain, but that will be useful. And now I have to discard three cards. This hand limit rule is rough. I am going to definitely discard this one. Um, you know, oh, there's so many things that go with that campfire. I have the sharp stick. I have not gotten the marshmallows yet. I feel like if we, at some point, there's one for hot dogs, maybe with the stick in the campfire. We really need to be able to play more than one card. This is getting rough. I feel like chocolate and trail mix could go together. So let's get rid of this goal. We've already gotten rid of the guitar. Uh, and you know what? Let's get rid of, let's get rid of chocolate. Let's keep uh, the trail mix, the hot dogs, and toasting marshmallows. And we'll see what our next rule is. Please be a play. New rule, camping bonus. Takes instant effect. The players who have most recently been camping draw one and play one extra card during their turn. 
If this game is taking place during an actual camping trip, all players receive the bonus. Well, I have been camping. So um, at least we'll be able to play, draw. well, now we're gonna be drawing five cards. That's ridiculous, but at least we can play two. And that starts now. So let's go ahead and draw our five cards. And just so you know, this does not say may. Um, yeah, this is a rule. So I don't have a choice. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So, uh, ooh, rules reset. Reset to the basic rule. Discard all new rule cards and leave only the basic, no. But it would get rid of this hand limit thing. But no, I don't want to do that. This is going to be one that we trash. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to trash it now because I know we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to play two. Uh, this goal is it's not camping unless you spend the night sleeping bag plus a backpack. I already said I am not going to get rid of the backpack once we can find it. So we're going to trash that as well. We still need to figure out one to play. So... Uh, we have fire poker, campfire plus a sharp stick, but we still can't find the campfire. We do have our toasting marshmallows. Man, that hand limit is killing us. So here's another thing to consider. We can't get both because there's only one sharp stick. So let's... I don't... I think... Ooh... The marshmallows might be useless to us if we get rid of them now. Um, do, do, do. But this one we need two things. This one we need more. So let's discard that one and let's get a let's get a goal card out. So we have that, um, and that way it's just there if we need it. And now we need to get rid of one of ours so if we're going for the sharp stick here i kind of feel like hot dogs would need the sharp stick because like how like that's how we would cook the hot dogs after over a fire so let's go ahead and get rid of hot dogs and we can draw our next rule card and it's ghost stories free action once during your turn if you name a famous scary character which no one has named yet during this game draw one extra card if needed, briefly tell the story to remind everyone of their fame. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I am like pretty afraid of scary stories. So I don't know if I'm going to be really good at that one. And especially since we're already drawing so many cards anyway. And that's the timer. So yeah, I don't know if we're going to be doing that. Now, this would be great in the multiplayer also because um, then I... If you run out of cards, you can reshuffle. Um, it's it, You don't have the timer like we do right now. But, and then in that case, drawing more cards is good. But for us right now, it is, it's it's not the best. It's not the best. We are drawing five right now. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we have a couple of goals. Let's look at those first. We have at the campsite, the woods plus either the tent or the camper. Well, we don't have the woods. Uh, snug is a bug. The tent plus the sleeping bag. We already got rid of the sleeping bag, so we're just gonna get rid of that one right now. Uh, we have our canoe, which obviously would go well with our paddles that we have in our hand. We have bug spray. Mosquitoes do not prevent you from winning, but we did get the goal that got rid of mosquitoes, so we don't need that. Let's hold on to it though, because there are going to be goals that we could use for that. We could do, let's do that again. Search through the discard pile, take any action or new rule card you wish and immediately play it. Anyone may look through the discard pile at any time, but the order of what's in the pile should not be changed. Ooh. I don't know if we've really played any actions that would be super helpful, but we have discarded some. So let's look at, so it'd be, we don't have any rules in the discard. We have not discarded any rules yet. That's wild. Okay, so we have rules reset. I don't want to do that. Uh, discard and draw, discard the entire hand. I mean, no, that's that's just a timer. Uh, yikes. 
There's a draw three, play two of them. This might be good. I... Oh, man. Okay, let's think about that. So we draw three, we get to play two, but that would be our play. And we would still have to discard. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna do, let's do that again. I am going to take our action card. And we're gonna immediately play it. So we're gonna draw three, one, two, and three. Ooh, the river. Ooh, we're going to play two. Oh, man. Let's see. Action. All used up. All of the following keepers in play must immediately be discarded. Well, that's not helpful um, because we do have the bugs. Oh, wait. We don't know if we have the bug spray. We might be discarding the bug spray. Let's place it up here. Um... No, this is going to be the discard one, and I guess that makes these two our play. So play those, and so this will get discarded, and since the, I can only, still only, oh wait, we can play two, can't we? Because of camping, we can play two. I don't know if I played two before. <gasps> okay, so awesome, awesome sauce. So we can still get to play another one, and... We have paddles and canoe in our hand, so that doesn't quite work, but we definitely want to play something. So we are going to play the canoe so it gets it out of our hand, and we will discard. Uh, as of right now, I don't want to get rid of the... Oh, actually, though, because we have the rule that keeps us from not being able to do anything if we have on the a creeper so let's do, do, do oh man i don't want to keep getting rid of goals because we're going to need goals to collect i mean we do have one so no matter what we win like at the end it's just no maybe not gonna be the best game maybe not the best score um, which one thing that you could definitely check out is over on the Looney Labs website under the solo games. You can There's a form that you can fill out and put what your score was. So you can kind of compare to see how you've done uh, against other players. So that's cool. And that will also be found on their website with the link below. I think though, I think we're going to get rid of trail mix so we can keep these. Oh, that was a lot of thinking. Okay, so we are going to grab our new rule and it is, oh my God, it's a draw four. So this rule will now go into the discard pile and we are now drawing six cards, six cards, and we can still only play two. Okay, let's see what those six cards are. We have one. Oh, I just got rid of the trail mix. Oh, oh, you know what? I don't have the chocolate anymore anyway. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, let's sim uh, simplify. Discard your choice of up to half. Round it up of the new rule cards in play. We are doing that. I am so doing that. I already know what I'm playing. We are playing this one. And so we have seven cards in play. So we can get rid of four. Well, honestly, we're getting rid of the hand limit because this is killing us. This is killing us. We're discarding so many cards. I think that's it. I think that's the only one we're going to get rid of. Okay, so we played their one. <laughs> uh, we're going to play another one. So let's see. We have paddles plus canoe. We have the canoe. So let's play paddles. That gets rid of both of these and we can claim this goal. So it is gonna go in our completed pile. And now we are going to draw a new card and it is play all, OMG. Okay, so we are going to draw six cards and then we have to play all the cards in our hand. So we're gonna be really strategic in the order that we play things because they're going to replace the goals, right? So let's see what our six are. Oh my gosh, we just got this too. Or we just got the one that got rid of our hand limit and now we're not going to have any cards in our hand. Oi! Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two,
three, four, five, six are our, the six we can get. And no joke, we finally got backpack. And this is what I was looking for. You can ignore hand limits. That's why I wanted the backpack. Um, so I don't know, maybe we'll find some goals that we can use it. So let's see what all keepers we have. We have our backpack, we have graham crackers, we have rain gear, we have the canteen, and we have marshmallows. We also drew trash a new rule. Take your choice of any one of the rules in play and put it in the discard pile. So we're gonna be strategic. I want to place all of our keepers. I don't know if we have enough room. I'm gonna move this off screen or you know what? Let's let's just zoom out a little. Let's zoom out a little. Okay, so now that we made some room, we are going to play marshmallows, canteen, rain gear, graham crackers, and backpack. That is a lot of keepers. There is a card that limits how many keepers you can have. So we want to use these. Oh my gosh, why can't we find this campfire? Why can't we find it? Okay, so I am going to take a quick look through all of our goals and see which order we want to play them to clear out as many of these as possible. Um, because I don't want to, I'm going to get rid of the play all rule. Maybe now is the time, but if we can get as many played right now as possible without discarding and clear some of this up so we can get more points, the better, right? Okay. So BRB. Okay. So we actually only have one goal right now that would allow us to get anything. And that's, um, up the Creek without a paddle. Paddle's not in play anywhere, plus the river. So I do have the river, so I'm going to discard that. We will claim this goal. And what we're gonna do is we are going to pretend that we played all of these in order and we just kept replacing them until we got, or until we played up, or up the creek. So all of those also had gotten discarded, but they would go under here, because it go in order. And now we can play, because we're still in play all, so I am going to play trash in new rule and I am going to trash that rule. So that way we don't have to play these two. So, oi, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. Such a bummer, all those rules and we couldn't do anything with them. But now that we trashed that, I kind of wonder, because we do get to play an extra card. I'm honestly not sure how that would work. Um, but I'm going to assume since I played so many by removing that rule, it's for that turn. So I don't know if we would still play two more. Um, if it would be that we would play two more, then I would have just played the goals differently. So I'm not going to play any more right now. Um, if you do know the answer to that, let me know in the comments below. I don't think it would have changed the gameplay for um, this right now and how we took that turn, but it would just be good knowledge and I'd like to share that with other people. So also your reminder to make sure that you have the Klingon subtitles turned on. Okay, so let's see what our new rule is. Oh my gosh, new rule. Play all but one, what? What is this? Oh man, that's rough. Ugh. I mean, there's nothing I could have done. I had to trash, I had to trash a roll anyway. Oh man, okay, so let's draw our six cards. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, and six. And once again, we're gonna have to see, oh look, we got our campfire. We're gonna have to see what order we want to play everything all but one. Okay, so we are going to play this one first. It is Bear Trouble. With the exception of the person who has the camper, which we do, in play, any, if any, all players must immediately discard all keepers they have in play that represent food. So we have the camper. We're going to play that just to get out of our hand. Okay. I am obviously going to play the campfire, which now we can complete with our sharp stick. So these will go into the discard and we have now completed that goal. And no joke, now the only thing we have left are goals. <laughs> And we can only really, so we're gonna play two and keep one. So 
We might want to keep this one because we have the camper and we know we're going to draw rain at some point. The bug spray, let's see if I think we discarded at some, yes, we got rid of the bug spray. So let's play that. The campfire we just discarded. So let's play that. These are actually like the same, except for one is for woods and one is for mountains. I think we discarded the mountains earlier. Let's double check. And, oh, let's see. I remember, maybe it's just the goal I remember. The river we did, canoe, paddles, trail mix, bug spray, hot dogs. Oh, okay. We have not discarded the woods or the mountains, but we'd only be able to do it one anyway. So let's play the mountains. That will get rid of this skull. And we have three more. Um, we are going to then get rid of that goal by replacing it with the same one for the woods which I am kind of worried. I don't know if there's something that would get rid of this or force us to get rid of it. So I kind of want to keep the camper because unless we can play this one to get rid of the rain, then we would be stopped from playing. So I am going to, let's go ahead and play this one. We'll replace this because obviously we already played the bug spray, even though we have the rain gear. <laughs> um, yeah. And we are holding on to pocket-sized essentials. So that is our one. Wow. Okay, let's see what our next card is. And it is new rule, get on with it. Free action. Before your final play, if you are not empty-handed, you may discard your entire hand and draw three cards. Your turn ends immediately. I don't think we're probably going to use that. We are, we're getting pretty far into this deck. So let's draw our next six. One, two, three three, four, five, and six. Oh man. Okay. Ooh, trash something. Take your choice of any keeper or creeper from in front of any player and put it in the discard pile. If no one has any keepers or creepers in play, nothing happens when you play this card. Oh crap. That's not good. I don't want to play this. Your choice though. Okay, I don't know. We're, we probably might have to place it. Oops, sorry about that alarm. Okay, so we have to play everything, pretty much. So we did get one keeper. It's a flashlight. And what we're going to do is we are going to discard the at the site. We are going to play the pocket size essentials, which is any two. Which So we have the flashlight and the pocket watch. Those will go into the, or, I'm sorry, the pocket knife. Those will go into the discard. We will collect that goal. Okay. Move these down. We're still at the, we are still doing play all but one. So we're going to play into the wild because we did play the river already. We are going to then get rid of that to replace it with the, okay, where's the fire? because we no longer have the, actually any of those. Those are all gone. Not that it really matters, but I guess we'll play that. And I have to do play all but one. I think we will just keep on, you know, hold on to this uh, trash something because we already spent the campfire. So we can't do anything with that either. And we will pull a new rule which is hand limit of two, doesn't matter because we have the backpack. So we're good there, but we are going to draw another six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we got weenie roast, campfire plus hot dogs, can't use it. We have, I'm getting thirsty, canteen plus either graham crackers or trail mix. <gasps> we have those. So we will play that right now and we will get rid of our canteen and our graham crackers. Those will go into discard. We will claim our goal. That's awesome. We also have keepers of the mountain and matches. 
we got whittling so I guess we will play that even though we know we can't get it um, so we now we have two cards left we have the trash something and draw two and use them so we will use that because we have to play something everything we draw two hydrate while hiking well that doesn't help because yeah we have the mountains but we just got rid of the canteen so that will replace this one and we have to play them both so that will have the uh, uh, night lights um replace the hydrate or dihydrate <laughs> also really important make sure you guys are staying hydrated and that just brings us down to our play all but one. Oh my gosh we have one more turn and this is over so let's see what the rule is it is the play two so that will replace that that will go over here but it doesn't matter because we are going to draw as many as we can and we can no longer draw and the game the game ends immediately which is a bummer because if we could have if we had just a little bit more we would have gotten our warm and dry from the rain and our camper so bummer but let's see we got one two three four five six we got six oh that's chaotic <laughs> I should note that obviously this game can be played solo, but it can actually be played up to six people. I do not have six people in my household, <laughs> but I think it would be really interesting to see what happens and how insane it could get with six people. So I might be bringing this to a con this year that uh, is a local con for me and kind of seeing <laughs> what happens with all the chaos. <laughs> But thank you so much for joining me on this camping trip. Thank you again so much to Looney Labs for sending me this review copy of Camping Flux. I really want to see like some of the other decks too because there's like a zombie one. I know I listed some already, but there's like a zombie one too. That would be really crazy. I want to see what some of the creepers are for that. But let me know, have you played Flux? What decks do you have? Or have you already checked out the website? Um, have you picked out which ones you're interested in? Oh, I also, there's a holiday one. There's a holiday one. We're nowhere near the holidays right now. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna have to go shopping and get the holiday one. I think that one would probably be so cute. I don't have enough holiday games. I need more holiday games. Yeah, that's gonna be my next flux. My next flux is going to be the holiday one. Um, you know, kind of offset. We have a summer camping and then we can have the holidays and then we're good for most of like, two out of four seasons. Actually, I think we only have two seasons in Michigan. So yeah, I think that's good for year round. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>